Hey guys, it's Fin17, we're back with another video, and today um, I'm going to be doing an April Team Showcase. Now, I know this video is delayed by a couple days, it is currently May 3rd, um, but I wanted to show you guys my updated team for April and the end. Um, so before we do start with the video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe you guys can also follow me on Instagram and join my Discord. Link will be in the description. And let's try to get 100 likes on this video, guys. That would be awesome. So, um, let's get right into it. Now, you will see some gaps where, you know, I'm trying to get some better players. I've already sold the auctionable players. Um, so, let's just proceed um, into the video. So, here's my offense. And again, um, I had Jamar Chase. I had Marquise Brown. And I had, um, I believe, I, I believe that's it for uh, the offense. And I sold them because currently they're so expensive. And I'm almost at 250 mil. When I do reach 250 mil, I will be doing probably a shopping spree. As soon as I get there, I should get there soon. Um, just need to sell a couple more things. Um, but the draft promo did me, uh, and the obviously the S7, did me uh, very well because I got a ton of S7 uh, players. Um, the, you know, obviously the highest one being Quentin Nelson. Uh, 100 overall, he's the one master I completed. Uh, after I got him, I just went for picks pretty much. Um, I got the Sean Alexander from S6. Um, Kyle Juszczyk from Easter. Um, my wide receivers aren't great. Obviously, Darren Waller is just a placeholder for, you know, an upcoming wide receiver, maybe 100 overall. Um, and obviously, McNabb is just there until I get 99 overall, whatever Lamar Jackson is at that point after Master Series comes out, which I will have an update, um, most likely tomorrow for you guys. Um, so, uh, we also have Marvin Harrison, which is a pretty old card, and Robert Tunyon from S6 as well. So, the offensive line, I have Garrett Bradbury, McCabe Beckton, obviously Quentin Nelson, Connor Williams, Tunsil. Not the best, but not the worst. I have a 96.2 offensive line with no boosts. My defense actually did take kind of a beating because I don't know why this is saying it's an update team. It's really not. Um, but let me just lock him in there. Um, so obviously, I did have Minka Fitzpatrick, but I ended up selling him. He boosted to like a 101 overall, but this Eddie Jackson goes to 100. This free nitrine lane goes to 101. Jeremy Chin's at a 99. Patrick Peterson's at a 99. And Minka still goes for about 12 mil. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go like one overall down. So I might as well just get, um, I might as well just use one of these non auctionable players. And instead of getting 300k by quick selling them, I'll get like 12 something mil. So um, that is pretty awesome. We also have Jalen Ramsey over here. Winfield, obviously, from the S7. I'm trying to get his Evo or his boosted version um, by getting 200k points hopefully soon. Um, my linebackers are pretty much the same. Um, Briggs might need an upgrade. Um, I do have this guy in there. Yeah, I could just toss Zayvon Collins in there. I might just sell him. Um, pro probably going to invest in the players as well. But um, that's not too bad right there. Uh, the defensive line, as you can see, is pretty much 98 plus as well. Like my whole defense, because the boosts are 98 plus. Um, you see Quentin Nelson, or Quentin Williams, sorry. Um, Minjo Green. Uh, we have David Pollock and Miles Garrett, not too bad right there. And then the special teams, you got Tyler Bass, Michael Dixon, Dante Hall, and Tyreek Hill, who I got from the draft promo. So on, honestly, um, it's pretty good for April. I mean, I'm obviously going to do the shopping spree soon. So anything that's auctionable on this, I'm probably going to end up selling, um, such as Garrett Bradbury. I'm not going to sell Quentin Nelson. He's going to be on my um, you know, updated team. I'm not going to be... Uh, using a, a, another spot on him there's no use for selling him he's one of the best o guards in the game and he goes for so much so no use selling him now and buying him back later which he's you know his price is going to go up but john alexander and winfield are probably also going to be on the end game too so that is pretty cool guys um so thank you guys for watching this video um if you have any suggestions for who i should get for the shopping spree coming really soon i'll try to you know see how you know as many as i can um, but as for right now, guys, I will have some updated content tomorrow for you guys. I'm sorry for the only one upload, no stream today. Uh, it's pretty, been a pretty slow day for content. Um, the only thing we really got was the new draft things. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one and peace out.